Welcome to today's video, Bible Verses About Grandparents. Proverbs 17 verse 6. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children are their fathers. This passage highlights the generational blessings and the continuity of family legacy. Grandparents, symbolized here as old men, find honor and joy in their grandchildren, indicating the vital role they continue to play in nurturing and guiding the future generations. The verse also underscores the importance of parents and the respect children have for them, connecting the multiple layers of familial relationships and their reciprocal nature of pride and respect. Psalm 128 verse 6 Yeah, thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace upon Israel. Here, the psalmist speaks of the blessing of longevity and peace. Witnessing the lives of one's grandchildren is portrayed as a divine reward, an extension of one's legacy, and a continuation of familial blessings. It's not merely about living a long life but experiencing the peace and prosperity of the family line and the community at large emphasizing the role of grandparents in praying for and maintaining the spiritual well-being of their descendants. Job 42 verse 16 After this lived Job an hundred and forty years, and saw his sons, and his sons' sons, even four generations. Job's story is one of suffering, faithfulness, and ultimate restoration. The verse illustrates that, despite his earlier hardships, Job was blessed with longevity, and the pleasure of seeing multiple generations of his offspring. This underscores the idea that enduring faith can lead to renewed blessings, and for grandparents, these blessings manifest profoundly in their descendants. 2 Timothy 1 verse 5 When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois, and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also, this verse underscores the influential role grandparents play in shaping the faith of future generations. Timothy's grandmother Lois is mentioned as the first in the line of sincere faith, highlighting that spiritual legacy often starts with grandparents. It accentuates the importance of the spiritual foundation grandparents provide and the lasting impact of their genuine faith on ensuing generations. Proverbs 13 verse 22 a good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Beyond material inheritance, this verse speaks to the wisdom and moral legacy that grandparents, referred to here as, a good man, pass on to their grandchildren. It suggests that the influence of a righteous person extends beyond immediate offspring, benefiting future generations. This intergenerational transfer of values is more enduring than material wealth, which is fleeting and can be reallocated. Genesis 48 verse 11 And Israel said unto Joseph, I had not thought to see thy face, and lo, God hath shewed me also thy seed. This expression of joy by Israel, Jacob, upon seeing his grandchildren emphasizes the delight and fulfillment grandparents derive from their grandchildren. It's a testament to life's unexpected blessings and a reminder that grandchildren are a divine gift, offering hope, continuity, and a renewed sense of purpose to their grandparents. Psalm 103 verse 17 But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children. This verse reflects the perpetual nature of God's mercy, extending from grandparents to their descendants. It's a reassurance that the love and righteousness of God are not fleeting but are promised to continue through the generations. This eternal promise connects grandparents, parents, and children in a continuum of divine love and mercy, highlighting the spiritual linkage across generations. Proverbs 16 verse 31 The hoary head is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. Here, old age, represented by the hoary head, is depicted as a crown of glory, emphasizing the respect and honor that should be accorded to the elderly including grandparents. This honor is conditional upon a life led righteously, suggesting that the true value of one's life, especially in the later years, is measured by wisdom and righteousness, qualities often associated with grandparents. Ruth 4 verse 15 And he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life, and a nourisher of thine old age, for thy daughter-in-law, which loveth thee, 
which is better to thee than seven sons hath borne him. This verse, spoken to Naomi about her grandson Obed, underscores the restorative role grandchildren play in the lives of grandparents. Obed is not only seen as a joy but also as a sustainer of Naomi's life, offering comfort and purpose in her old age. It also highlights the value of loving relationships within the family, transcending biological ties. Deuteronomy 4 verse 9 Only take heed to thyself, and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons, and thy sons' sons. This command to remember and pass down God's teachings to future generations emphasizes the crucial role of grandparents in preserving spiritual heritage. It's an urgent call for them to actively engage in the spiritual education of their grandchildren, ensuring the continuity of faith and the remembrance of God's deeds. This responsibility and privilege connect generations and perpetuate a legacy of faithfulness. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment to support our channel. May God's grace and peace be upon you and your family, and may you continue to be a blessing to your children and children's children. Amen.